Good Tuesday morning, everybody. We're going to carry on with our devotions uh, for this week. And um, today we're going to talk about, um, we're talking about, I know who I am, and I hope you're doing the U version um, Bible study with us. And uh, Brother Andrew uh, picked this one out this week as who I am in Christ. Um, and today for Tuesday, get it to pop up on the screen here. We're going to talk about, um, I am God's child. And I was glad to get this one. Um, I really like this, um, this topic here and, uh, and just what it means. Um, I am God's child. And I want you to, before we go any further, I want to take just a second and get you to ask yourself this question. What does that mean to you? Um, what does that really mean? And actually we hit a verse here that I'd used, uh, last week, um, in the last devotion too. And, um, after the pastor talked about John three and three, and we talked about Nicodemus and, um, being born again. And, and I kind of went into what that entitled last week, um, with us to have God as our father. And, but what does it mean? I am God's child. What does, what does that mean to you? Um, you know, it should be something special. That's, that should be something that just absolutely um, just uplifts us uh, to know. And I'm going to finish out to today in the last scripture. I'll show you something um, that that should just blow us away of what that entitles us to. Um, so let's, let's go through some of these. And uh, this is the scripture I actually used last week, and it's it's on our U version for this devotion, so I wanted to use it again. But it's uh, John 1 and 12 says, But as many as received him, to them gave he power or authority to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. So it's saying all the believers, those, those that will believe. And, you know, right before this verse, it was talking about um, he, he came to his own and his own received him not. And we talked a little bit about that some last week. Um, but to be the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. So it's, it's what we, um, it's what we receive from him when we trust God as our savior, when we trust Christ as our savior, it's what, it's what God gives that to us. It's what the spirit entails in us that we actually have a father. Um, and, and, we can look at the very next verse of that, um, which were born, okay, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. So you can see that just how intimate that is and what a spiritual thing that is to be God's child. Um, and something I want to mention before I forget, uh, because I'm bad to do that. But do you ever, do you ever really sit and think, um, you know, I struggle sometimes with my value or my worth? Um, you know, I don't, I don't think maybe we don't do that as much as, as adults. And, and when we get a little bit older, uh, we start to, we start to realize that, um, it's, it's found in God. And as we mature, it's not in the things of this world, but, you know, for our young people and I, I, I actually told our youth group this last Wednesday night. Um, they should never. They I don't I don't care the mistakes they make, and, and they will have them just like we will. Um, but they should never let anyone uh, tell them that their value lies in the trophies that they've won, the championships, um, the accomplishments. Um, you know, listen. We we want our children. We want our teenagers. Uh, we want them to strive to, to do good at whatever they do, um, schoolwork or sports alike. Um, we want them to strive to be their best, why sure. But their value, uh, this day and time, the world holds too much value on those things. It holds, it holds too much value of their worth, uh, of whether they have made those accomplishments. And it has absolutely nothing to do with their, their value. Um, you know, they need to go around and we went to the, you know, we went to a Chris Tomlin concert, concert one time, and, you know, we all had those stickers on. It says, I am a child of the king. I'm a child of the one true king. Um, you know, and that's what that's what they need to know. 
Uh, that's what we need to know, that we are a child of God. Um, nothing, our accomplishments, the jobs, the money, the homes, the cars, the boats, anything that we can get, whatever we accomplish on this earth, that does not give us any value. It gives us does not give us any more value in God's eyes. Uh, we are his and we belong to him if we have if we have reached out to believe in in his son for a savior. So let's look at this. Romans eight fourteen. For as many as are led, and I like that word led, uh, kind of caught my attention um, studying for this, that I like that word led. Uh, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, it won't push us, it won't drive us, but it'll lead us if we allow it to. They are the sons of God. The ones that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For you have not received the spirit of, spirit of bondage, again, to fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. And I love that word. I, I've used that a lot. I love that word, uh, Abba, Father. I was flipping back over here to a note on my Bible uh, while I've got it out here. But, you know, that is an intimate name. And it's only for members of the family. It's only for members of the family that we can say, Abba, Father. Because once we have accepted Christ and we are led by the Spirit and we are a son of God, he has adopted us into that family. And then we can cry out, Abba, Father. It can, it can be the daddy, uh, so to speak. It can be the, the intimate relationship with him that he wants with us. But here's the last verses I want to give you. And I really thought these just, these are the ones I love. Um, these right here. The spirit itself bears, and this is Romans chapter eight. I don't know if I said that a minute ago. This is Romans chapter eight. If you want to go look at it, the spirit itself bears, bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Now look at this. And I highlighted here. Think about this. And if, and if children, then heirs, right? You know, we're going, I, I, I tell my kids all the time, I'm probably not going to have them. Me and Chas won't have a whole lot to leave them. Um, but what we'll have it will be theirs. Lorna Maddie will get that. Uh, there are ours, and they will receive what is ours. Ours, I don't I'm country talk, right? What is ours is theirs, uh, and they'll receive that because they are ours. Ours, gosh, can't get both those straight. And if children, then ours, and ours of God, we're ours of God. He is our father. He is our dad. And what belongs to him, we have access to. And just think about this one. And if we're heirs of God, we're joint heirs with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him, that, me, that we may be also glorified together. Those verses should absolutely uplift us. No matter what we go through, no matter what we achieve on this, on this earth. And, you know, we go through times that may be hard to pay the bills. We may go through times that, you know, we can... We can buy more and purchase more and have the bigger home, the cars and the whatever. Uh, but it absolutely gives us no value. And I've, I've heard TJ mention this a lot. And, and it's something that, you know, it's it's years ago, um, you know, 20 years ago, me and him farmed together a lot. And, and I think at one time we had we, we, we started out seven or eight cows and got up to where we had 20 some. And gosh, we thought we were just, you know, we were just doing well. Uh, and then we got to talking one day and we were out there feeding the cows and they said, you know what, this ain't, this ain't nothing compared to what our father has. He's, our father owns the cattle of a thousand hills. And you know what? That's ours. That, that is ours. Uh, we're his heir and we're joint heirs with Christ. So let that be uplifting to you today. Um, so knowing who you are, know, remind yourself that you are a child of God. I hope everybody has a great week. Um, it's a beautiful time of the year. Looking around outside today, it's just uh, absolutely beautiful um, what God can paint a picture of um, with the leaves and the colors and all those things. So just look around. His, his, his evidence is of his creation is everywhere. Love you guys, and I hope you have a great, great week.